Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. Michelle is once again here with me. If you haven't noticed, they're wearing the same clothes. <laughs> don't tell them that. They're not supposed to notice that. I think they would notice. <laughs> <laughs> they don't notice that. So today uh, we are going to be trying a couple different things. Again, not well, one's somewhat spicy, one's not. So we're going to do the not spicy first. And simply because it is getting closer to Halloween. Oh. And that kind of seasonal thing. Picked up caramel apple cotton candy. Wait a second. You will subscribe. You will subscribe. Okay, sir. It might work. Yeah, it might. There's some lights on bouncing. There we go. Yeah. Subscribe, <laughs> like, share, leave a message. <laughs> okay. So this was, if you might be sensing a theme on a few of my uh, recent videos, is from Picard's Peanuts as well. I'm not sure if they're actually ones that made this or if it's from another brand. I don't know. Because they do carry a few other people's products. This is from Chocolate Storybook, which is actually out of Des Moines, Indiana. Go figure. So they're We're obviously crossing carrying the international line. MyGourmetCottonCandy.com is their website. Ingredients include sugar, no. artificial flavor, yellow five, blue one, dextrose, and natural flavors. 100 calories for two servings. That's two servings in a container. Oh, that's not, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. No, and 44% of the daily intake of sugar. Yeah, that's a little sugar. Yeah. Well, so it's pretty much pure sugar, let's be honest. Oh, yeah. It's cotton candy for you. Or fairy floss or... Fairy floss. That's what they call them in the UK. Oh. The more you know. Different, different countries have different names for it. Cotton candy, uh, candy cotton, fairy floss. I've heard candy floss, but I mean. Uh, fairy floss. All kinds of different names for them. Hmm. Oh. She smells like a caramel apple. She does. I don't know why it's a she, but. It's food. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The last cotton candy I had was the, uh, the watermelon, the sour? watermelon and the uh, apple warhead one. I yeah, even think of what it was. the sour sour. Yeah, the watermelon one was really sour. Now they also had a, another one there that I was looking at, but it was banana or no banana was somewhere else. It was a different one. It wasn't one I was interested in trying. It smells so much like a caramel apple. And, Tell me what apple you think it smells like, if you can smell it. Macintosh? Or are you thinking Granny Smith? To me, it's smelling Granny Smith. I smell I, I smell so much of the caramel that it's hard to smell yeah. anything else. But it, it's, it's smelling Granny Smith type tartness to me. Got a mustache. Mm. Okay, well, you taste the apple. Mm hmm. Mm, that's good. But it does, does taste more like a Macintosh with the caramel. Because there's no tartness to it. Mm hmm. Well, that's good. <laughs> I'm not usually a big fan of candy floss, but this one's actually not mm. too bad. Well, normal candy, or cotton candy, candy floss, whatever. It's just, you got a little bit of flavor and just so sugary. You're not even tasting the sugar in this. Yeah, it's, it, well, oddly enough, it's toned down with the, the caramel mm -hmm. apple flavor. That's so good, though. Mmm. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, take some. <laughs> yeah, that's not too bad. I've looked in the past on some of these sites like Bat 19 that have some of these really strange ones like dill pickle ones and stuff like that. To me, they're not worth the cost of trying because I'm cheap. <laughs> yeah, and it doesn't have like um, some of the um, the sweet flavors like that. You, it almost like it's so synthetic, it's so in your face. And it's almost layered in here. Yeah, but this one's a lot more, um, would you say it's more <laughs> light handed? Yeah. So it's it's not like in your face. Oh, God. <laughs> I 
And then turn me off. What are you doing? A bowl of it. See how potent the flavor is that way. Mmm. <coughs> This one's not bad. But it's not too gritty. Sometimes Scott and Candy's very gritty. The caramel taste, or caramel, depending on how you say it. I say it both ways. Yeah. It actually reminds me of two possible things besides the apple. The flavoring, the, the type of flavoring of the caramel itself. Similar to like a Werther's. Yes. Or if you're lucky enough to have tried um, the proper original butter shots drink, it has that, that kind of a good taste to it. I wouldn't know. I've tried, but it all tastes like acid to me, so. Yeah, so there's the. That's not bad. Cotton kitty. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell so you won't miss any new videos coming out. Now to go for the little bit of the spice. Well, we gotta wash off all the sweetness with something spicy. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my mouth first. Oh, okay. I meant the spiciness would clear out. <laughs> Actually, no, we're gonna combine it. We're just gonna wrap the cotton candy around. I will. Oh, God. Um, so this one is a Western Survivor beef jerky. We picked them out from them. They, unfortunately, it's not theirs. This is, but it's out of Simcoe, Ontario. So it's another local one. We're just getting it from all over. Uh, this is a Chipotle uh, gourmet beef jerky. Chipotle is good. And again, this is March, or sorry, May of 2024. There you go. So, and, nice and fresh. Uh, I, I love these ones that they, uh, they put the Ziploc on the packaging too, so that way. Well, yeah, you, because it's not. Most people are not going to go through it. I haven't even opened it yet. It doesn't smell it. Oh yeah, that's coming right through. Yeah, definitely beef jerky has its own unique jerky smell. And it's not like it's. Leathery, like you expect, but it's not like super tight, like really, really hard. Oh, yeah, it's got a pretty good give to it. Yeah, we'll try. Mm. It's a subtle Chipotle, yeah, but it's nice. Chewy, chewy, but not, um. It's got a soft texture. Some jerky I've had, because I, I was on keto for a while, so I had a lot of jerky. But sometimes you get almost like the plastic hard mm -hmm. jerky. This is not that. This is like a soft, it's got some give to it yet. Reminds it's still me, tender. It's still a little bit softer, but, um, but it reminds me a lot of the, like, the links. A little bit, yeah. How theirs, yeah. theirs isn't too tough. Which is nice. I mean, you like your meat to resemble still a little bit of meat. It's a Velociraptor. Straight from Jurassic Park. Mm. And they're not like super thin cuts either. No. I don't think they can. Oh my god. <laughs> Actually, that's really good. Dry. So we just put some on top? I just put a little bit on the beef jerky. Yeah. The caramel enhances the meat. I need a smaller piece for that. <laughs> nope, you still need a smaller piece for that. Okay. I didn't put a lot of it on there. That, <laughs> I didn't put that <laughs> much on there. But sure, if you want to go with that much. We just wrap it up. But the caramel actually enhances the beef. I don't want to say I like it. Because <laughs> you don't want to be weird. But it's good, isn't it? <laughs> I kind of like it. 
I don't know why I like it. It's almost like a sweet barbecue sauce on it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. There you go. <laughs> that's something. I'm positive I'm not pregnant. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's uh, not too bad. I don't know why it works so well together. I didn't realize we were doing a combo. <laughs> you heard it first here. Try your beef jerky with cotton candy. Caramel. Caramel apple cotton candy. There you go. It's really good. <laughs> it, is good. it is good. So these two companies are watching. Combine your product. <laughs> or just make a beef jerky flavored cotton candy. That would be a little odd. I thought this was odd, and it worked out, but so... cotton candy beef jerky, or caramel flavored beef jerky. I could see that. I could see that. Hmm. That's pretty good. That's really good. So there you Since go. Since 1988, they've been making beef jerky. Oh. <laughs> 1988? <laughs> They're still younger than us. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's a little bit younger than me. Yeah. More so closer to your age than me. Still. <laughs> but, yeah, that was really good. Surprising. I was, I was surprised that the combo worked. I just figured I'd try it because I've tried it before, doing weird things. Surprisingly, it was good. <laughs> Who knew? But, yeah, so that's it for another short little weird video. <laughs> yeah, you're good at the weird videos. Just saying. Well, it's me. Do you really stay spicy with cotton candy? <laughs> stay spicy and sweet. Spicy cotton candy would be a good thing, though. It would be. Don't they have that? They, I think they have, like, sp like spiced, but not, like, spicy. Like, ghost pepper or popcorn. Uh, cotton candy would be interesting. Or Reaper or something. We'll have to see, keep our eyes out for that. Probably, so if you're watching and you make that stuff... Contact me. Let me know. <laughs> like, I think it's probably... I, most people would probably just go with a habanero or something. Probably. Something that's not too hot for people. Because there's just kids eating this stuff. <laughs> You're a kid at heart. No, I just have a kid's heart. I had it replaced. No, I was going to say in a jar <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> but we'll see you next time. Who knows what I'll try. But, yeah. Thanks for watching and... Stay spicy. <laughs> there you go. Melt this down, drizzle it all over your steak next time. It's surprising how well that works. It, it does work pretty darn good. There you go. It really tastes the caramel on that. Mm -hmm. That's what I like. It doesn't look like you went through any of it. <laughs>